What's wrong with you? You're being so annoying right now. Okay, I feel like my hair is always the same. Your hair? It's, it's so boring. Like, look. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of boring, always wavy. You know what the problem is? It's... Oh, I'm getting so stressed. The problem is... Huh? You don't pay attention to your hair, just your makeup all the time. Okay, let me show you something. Look at this. Hey, look, let's see. Look at her hair. Look how colorful it looks. Oh, you? And look at this. How pretty, how cute. Oh, that's so cute. You gotta thank me later, girls. That's so oh, cute, that's a great- What are you gonna do without me? Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I have to do that right now. Hmm? Just be right back. Wait for me, okay? I'm gonna be right back. Wait, where are you? Okay, bye. Welcome back to Wish and TV. It's Iris here with another episode of Beauty Hackers. Before we move on to our actual video, there isn't anyone who hasn't missed our latest episode of Beauty Hackers, right? It was about reviving used, unused, and broken makeup. But if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you go check it out right now. And also, make sure you follow Wish and TV on Instagram. I'm so sick of my hairstyle nowadays. I really want to give a change. But are there any wish trainers like me who want to change their hair but you're scared of making drastic changes like haircuts or hair dyes? If you want to give a change to your hair without any damage, make sure you keep on watching today's video. Because in today's video, we're going to show you guys four. Four heatless styles that are very popular among K-pop girl groups. It's very trendy and it's going to help you pop through the crowd, especially when you're at like summer festivals. So if you want to become the trendy summer queen, make sure you keep on watching. So the first hairstyle I want to introduce is the point braid hair. Red Velvet's Joy's hair was very eye-catching through their latest promotion, Zimzella Beam's music video. What you'll need. Thick glitter threads, hair bands, and scissors. Pay attention, guys. You want to fold the thread, and there's your first loop. Now, you're going to grab the two tails and whoop, through the loop. And that is going to be the loop we're going to use. Once more, fold the thread in half, put your fingers through. Grab the tails and pull. I'm gonna use this one. This hairband is the similar color as my roots. Then you're going to tie your hair in a small section. Then put your hair inside the knotted thread. And after that, you are going to pull the knot and tie it tightly. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall from your hair. Now, with the thread and your hair that you've tied it onto, braid the three sections of your hair. There's going to be two sections of your hair and one section of thread. That's pretty! I like it! Festive. It's very festive. I feel like you can stop wherever you want. For example, you can stop here because my hair is only dyed to here or you can go all the way. I am going to just go all the way until I am done using my thread. And then I'm going to cut the remainder of the thread. Be careful you don't cut your hair. And lastly, tie the end of the thread and cut off the leftovers. Ta-da! And then I'm going to try this one on the opposite side. So I'm going to, I've already tied my hair like this. Make sure it doesn't go underneath the elastic, okay? Don't make a mistake like how Iris did. <laughs> and make sure it is above the elastic. This is like working out. I'm getting hungrier. <laughs> 
and then I'm just going to do the same thing and tie using the two threads I already have. And voila! What do you think guys? I am like in love. I am like obsessed. It's so pretty and cute. And also for further tips, you can actually change the thread or yarn that you use so it can be thin, it can be thick, or you can even overlap thin yarns to make more colorful looks. So it's up to you. And also if you feel like your hair is going to be damaged, please apply essence or hair oil in advance. You can also use ribbons or scarves to make it thicker and more summer summer like. <laughs> Secondly, we are going to show you guys hair tinsels. Sparkly. Recently, the latest comeback from Itzy, you can find the tinsel hairs. And also, Casper from Team Beauty Bible in our Wishing TV also wore this in one of her episodes. You should check that out too. This is a very trendy hairstyle that's been trending since last year's summer in Korea. It's really easy to do at home, so keep on watching. What you'll need is hair tinsels, hair clips, scissors, and a tail comb. So we're going to try the tinsels. Pay attention. So you're going to grab the hair strand and like we did before, make the same knot using your thumb and index finger. Like that. I'm just going to set this aside for now because we have to part the hair first. And I'm going to grab a tail comb and lift a layer of hair and just toss it over because if you do it right above it's going to be too obvious so you want to have a layer of hair on top of the tinsels and then just clip your hair down Now this is where we're going to work with the tinsels. Take 5 to 10 strands of hair and put your hair in the loop of the hair tinsel. Then pull it until the tinsel is about 1 centimeter away from the scalp. I'm going to pull it right through the loop. But if you leave it this way, the tinsel is obviously going to move and fall off. So you need to tie it once more, but this is a little tricky to do alone. So if you attach a hair clip, it's going to be much easier. And then I'm going to tie these one by one with the hair. Yes, like this. Hooray. And as you go, you can just use the clip from before to harden it and make it securely in place. Grabbing this line, and then grabbing the hair again. Okay, much better. Tying this down, and then taking the clip off, going back to my original part. So I finished one tinsel here and you can apply as many as you want so I'm going to go do a few more. Be right back. So what do you guys think? I feel like this is perfect for the trendy summer because it's sparkly. But for some of you guys this may be too hard so we have a secret tip and that is using ta -da! hair pins. How you're gonna do this is very simple. Just simply grab a few strands of tinsels, pull it through the bobby pin, and just clip it onto your hair. I'm just gonna go underneath the part so it's not too visible. And there you're gonna have your tinsels. This is an SOS tip if the previous tip was too hard for you. So next we are going to move on to bobby pin styles. So the bobby pin hairstyle gained so much popularity in Korea as many girl groups wore them like Blackpink, Red Velvet, Girls' Generation, and also Twice. 
this time we're going to try the black pink Jenny hairstyle with middle parts. First we're going to do the 5 to 5 ratio middle part. But I already had it here today so perfect. And then you're going to toss your hair behind your ears. Like that. And then you're going to grab the baby hair. Then I'm going to grab my colorful bobby pins and start pinning them behind my ears. First green. And when you start clipping, you want to clip from maybe a centimeter behind your hairline because you don't want your hairline showing. Next, I'm going with blue. Is my favorite color, TMI. And now on to the other side. Now here's an additional tip. If your face seems a little long, then it's going to be more attractive if you put in the hairpins horizontally downwards. This will make your face look shorter. I'm going to start with the top part this time because I'm right-handed. I'm just trying to get all the hairpins even on both sides. Lastly, blue. And I am going to just fix my hair. Next, we're going to try copying twice Tyan's very cute pigtails and bobby pin collaboration. So, for this hairstyle, first I'm going to divide my hair into two parts, side by side. And then I'm going to grab these very cute colorful elastics and start tying mini pigtails. And if you're like me and you have a little side hair, I think this is when you can actually just pull out any baby hair if wanted. And leaving about a few centimeters, I am going to this time yellow, tie it again. And then just repeat of course until you get to the end. And I'm just going to pull on these little balls to make them look more cute and natural. Now, this side as usual. part is done but because we are working with bobby pins I'm going to choose my favorite colors and make an X with the bobby pins on the sides of my hair crisscrossing Should I do orange or red? Yeah. What do you think? Red? And we are done with our bobby pin style. And for these bobby pins, it's up to you. So be artistic, you can go straight, you can do a heart, a star, I don't know. I just chose crisscross X's, but it's totally up to you. Number four, lastly, is mini claw clips. A rising hair item even more popular than bobby pins in Korea is claw clips. Many girl groups are in love with this claw clip, especially Hyuna. Hyuna is one of the most stylish trending stars in Korea and she didn't miss out on the claw clips. So we're going to try Hyuna's style first. First, I'm going to grab a chunk of hair and just braid it all the way down. My hair is too long so it's going to take a while but please have patience with me. 
detangle as you go. And because we're gonna put it behind our ears, you don't really have to go all the way, just enough to pass it through your ear. And you can use an elastic to tie up the ends, but we're going to use a clip anyway to clip it behind our ears, so I'm going to skip the hair tying process. And then I'm going to pull it behind the ears and clip it right here. But I don't have a clip. <laughs> just secure it in place. You see? Now, this is when the claw clips come in. I have these colorful claw clips and start clipping them on the braid that we previously braided. Ooh. Everything is so colorful in today's hacks. I think this one looks better if it's messier, so I'm just going to pull my hair a bit. And you can do this on one side, or also repeat on the opposite side, but I feel like one side looks pretty too. And also to copy how Hyanna used these claw clips, I'm going to add more clips on the roots of my hair. So while Hyanna focused her clips on the upper parts of her hair, Sunmi actually went all over her hair, so I'm gonna try that on this side. So this was the braided hairstyle that Hyanna did and this was the Sunmi style but right now I am going to mix these together and also apply clips over here. <laughs> I like this one. This one is very cute but it's very hip. So I feel like this is very insta-worthy. I have to go take selfies now. Oh, also, I wanted to say, I feel like this is very neutral. You know, neutral is very in nowadays, retro and new. This is very kid-like, kid-alt. You know how they say kid-alt? My style. I have to take selfies, guys. <laughs> it's very colorful on screen, so I think it's really pretty for your Instagram, guys. So today we tried four hairstyles with four inexpensive hairstyle items. What did you guys think? I think it was really great because it's heatless, it's inexpensive, and it's super easy to do at home. Especially this one. So what was the hairstyle you guys wanted to try? Let us know in the comments below. And also if you have any more questions, right? So until next time, I will be back with another episode of Beauty Hackers with way more helpful tips for you guys. Until then, bye bye! <laughs>